Get knocked, Sparta! <laughs> Let's go! No harm needed! This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Ablast. We're in the hometown of Jordan Thompson uh, this Saturday night. Showcase performance live on the zone? That's always, always. That's, that's the aim. Um, we prep for it though, we're ready. Just got to go out there and deliver come Saturday night, man. Now Jordan, uh, every time I see you, you get taller. What's going on? It's these, bro, people have been telling me I've grown, but then when I had the medical not long ago, they was like, you're six foot six. And I was like, nah. They said I've shrunk, so apparently I've lost an inch. I don't believe that. I, I feel like I'm about 6'8 now. 6'8, 6'7 six, six, and a half, 6'8. How long have you got left at Cruiserweight? Not long, not long, man. I'm just biding my time. I'm biding my time. Timing's everything. But um, I actually made a weight very comfortably, surprisingly comfortably to myself as well, to be fair. I don't really struggle with what I eat. I don't really watch what I eat. I eat relatively healthy, but in terms of portions and that, it's, it's all well and good. Um, so. We'll see, man. We'll just make the most of it while we can make it. And then, go on. If you were to jump to heavyweight on Saturday night, you'd be comfortable doing that? Yeah, without a doubt. I've got mad power in both hands, so in terms of, in terms of punch power, that'll, take, that'll go up with me. And I've never had a problem with being durable. So, like I say, I've, I've been in there sparring, sparring, but I've been in there with some big heavyweights, and, and, it, and I've done all right. I've held my own, but if I was to go in there with heavyweight, I'd be, I'd be good. Talk to me about your opponent this Saturday night. Yeah, Gudino, I've, I've heard several little things about him, to be fair. Um, tough, durable, awkward game. I think they've brought him in in an aim to try and hopefully get me some rounds. Um, listen, we prepare for whatever he comes with. If he comes to have a scrap, we've got something for that. If he comes to box, we've got something for that as well. So I've just got to go in there, be relaxed, compose myself, and just have fun, express myself. And um, as long as I do that, I'll put on a, on a, on a special performance. Take it, you've done your camp in Morecambe? No, not this one. No, no. So this one, I've been um, I've been in London with Coach G, and um, yeah, man, we've been putting together some real good stuff, man. The work's been been real good, good quality. Putting all it's, it's those that fine tuning, you know. It's one one thing having a diamond or a rough diamond, so to speak. You got to polish it, shine the edges and whatnot. But we're, we're cooking something good up, cooking something good up. Well, if if you're alluding to the fact that you've maybe only got a couple, three more fights at cruiserweight, what is it after this Saturday night all going well that you want next? What are you saying to Eddie? You want next? Me, I want titles. Whoever's got the belts, I want those. Um, how we go about that? That is up to my promotional team. I got an amazing management team. They've not stopped delivering for me, so I know that they'll have a plan. But for me, I just want titles. I want belts. I want the, I want those fights that people are gonna be like, oh, I don't think he's gonna win that one. And then I can just show everyone like, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna win it. This is what I'm about, and this is who I am. So, now nah, listen, the time will come, and and when it does, we'll be ready. One eye on the winner of uh, Billum Smith and McCarthy? Yeah, without a doubt, man. I actually think McCarthy wins this fight and they'll have to run it back a third time and beat the living crap out of each other again. But nah, listen, I'm a bit, it was a good fight the first time. It was entertaining. It'll be a good second fight. Um, I've got my eye on all cruiserweights. Like, they're all my rivals, especially the ones that are above me. Um, I keep an eye on everyone, but I am well and truly focused on myself and what I'm doing because I know as long as I take care of that, none of, none of them other guys matter to me. They're all irrelevant. Of course, proving to yourself is the most important thing, how good you are, but because you've gone under the radar in this cruiserweight scene, are you eager to show people out there as well, the likes of Billum Smith, McCarthy, your other top guys, you put them yourself in, in there tomorrow night and, and the levels that you can show, are you eager to show people that? Without a doubt, without a doubt. I think you only got to know me if you know, you know. And those who know me on the circuit know, like, I'm not there to be played with, I'm not here to just take part. Like, that's, that's just, that's me. That's me as an individual, I'm here to take over. And like I say, when, when that um, opportunity does present itself, which I'm sure it will, sooner rather than later, we're going to take it with both hands and we are going to put my name out there on the map and let everyone know that like, I'm here and I'm here to stay. And Jordan Thompson, go well this Saturday night. Just before I let you go, quick one on next Saturday, quick prediction, Fury White, what happens? Madness. It's going to be a <laughs> madness. Um, I anticipate a very long, grueling 12-round fight with the winner being... British. <laughs> <laughs> you narrowed that, narrowed that one down. The most political answer I could possibly give. Nah, I don't know. Listen, I've got a lot of respect and time for both guys. Obviously, spent time in camp with Fury. I know how an amazing boxer he is, uh, how skillful he's got, massive heart. Dillian, 
he ain't, he ain't coming to just take part. He's coming to, to take Tyson's head off. Um, I hope Tyson's nice and sharp. I hope Lillian's prepared for war. And I'm going to be there in my popcorn and enjoying the show. Jordan Thompson, go well this Saturday, all right? Top man. Thank you, bro. You're getting knocked, Sparta. <laughs> Let's go! No hunt needed. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.